What is going on, lunatic fringe? Guys, I come to you every day or most days with as much information as I can to provide you with what is going on in Luna Classic. So I'm going to tell you that we got a notice yesterday from Happy Caddy Crypto that he was going to be stepping back, not from the community, but, you know, these fights that continue to happen. Uh, he is now realizing the bad actors in this space, the ones that are more motivated. And look, the underlying sentiment here should be noted that Luna and everybody associated with Luna, they want you to fail. They want Luna Classic to be destroyed because that's how they get new investors. That's how they get people to come over and, and start to invest in their project instead. And that doesn't mean that Terraform Labs is bad. But we are tied to them. So there are those things that are out there. And those are, by the way, some of the validators. These validators, they don't want what's good for you. They want what's good for them. So what they want to do is they want to stifle the creativity. They want to stifle any sort of progress that might happen. And they want to prevent you. And by the way, you're the ones validating with them. So um, you're giving them the power. I do want to stress. You give them any power that they have by by doing that by allowing them to have that opportunity so i just want to get that out there now that being said there are a lot of different um things that that happen in this ecosystem uh like for example somebody tried to to, to again try to find another way to tax people look from the minds of idiots if you want to tax somebody you will kill your project the reason that you will kill your project is because nobody in the top 100 maybe even the top 200 has a tax on their token because it's a stupid idea. And if you're getting it presented to you, it's being presented to you by someone who's stupid. Now, I don't want to dump on somebody because they're uninformed, but these people are informed. These are people with YouTube channels. These are people who would rationally know that that is the way to kill a project. And you don't have to go far to find all of that. And you can do your own research. You can listen to me. You cannot believe it. Then you can go out and start finding some tax tokens to see how much trade volume they generate. And then see the ones with no tax and how they generate. Now, if, you're, if your follow-up to that is, well, how are you going to burn then? Well, that's going to be from the repeg. So you should be asking people like Redline Drifter and the Quant team, uh, what are we going to do next? Or, you know, what is the next step? Or put up a proposal for how it should happen. Put your own team together to figure out how to do a, a Lunk to USTC repeg. Stabilize, first of all, the USTC. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Figure out a way to do that. There is a spread tax proposal that was out there or a discussion. Anyway, there are plenty of different things that could be done. None of it's being done. None of that's being done leads to you having a little bit of despair. Like, well, if we just put a burn tax on it, it's going to go crazy. No, it's not. Stupid idea. Because then the argument is, well, it's only on the chain and that's not a lot of volume. Then what's the point? To kill the volume on the chain? That's stupid. Any way you look at it, putting a tax on a stupid. Anyway, I'll give you my opinion about this stuff, but I digress. If you like the content, make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell to be notified. And remember, I'm going to go on rant sometimes, and I'm going to tell you what really, what you need to hear, even if you don't like it. And that's the beauty of the platform, is that I can tell you this. And if you don't like it, then you tune out. If you do like it, you continue. Uh, however, sometimes I'm going to make you feel like, oh, maybe there's something wrong here. There's nothing really fundamentally wrong with Luna Classic. What's wrong is your validators, uh, they don't care. You know why? Because that's how you make their money, is by you idly sitting there and never making any progress. Then they just give you more Luna Classic. And of course, if nothing get ac gets accomplished on the chain, here's the beauty of it, right? Um, if nothing gets accomplished on the chain, then the bull market itself will pump the bag. So they're going to make money no matter what. And they're getting money from Oracle every month and they're distributing it to you. But of course, they stake their own. They get rewards. They they get paid too. So they're incentivized in order to just keep you in limbo. And if you don't know that or you don't recognize that by now, then you might be kidding or you might be fooling yourself. And you shouldn't do that. You should be asking questions. You should be putting up proposals. Uh, speaking of proposals, let's go to the price action and then we'll go to the proposals. So first of all, price-wise, uh, a little bit of a reversal in momentum here. Uh, not huge, but there is a reversal off of the news that Terraform Labs had filed for bankruptcy. And now we're starting to see what I think is, we got this little wick right here. Uh, we're going to use that down here. Um, 
and say that if this does hold, then we started to mint a recovery, uh, or at least we've got that recovery pattern starting to develop. It's going to take a little bit longer. We're just looking at a one hour chart right now. But as you can see right here, we're crossing over uh, what you would call bullish uh, because we've got a 20 and a 50 crossing over right here, uh, which would lead to a move up into here, which is where the 200 MA is coming through which is a rejection, which probably comes down and moves up. So, you know, maybe, just maybe, we've got the recovery happening right now. But, um, you know, that recovery is going to be muted because some of the investors who took off, uh, they may not come back because there's other tokens out here with zero tax that aren't having these proposals that they can make money off of. They can go to Miro, they can go to WIF, they can go to all these different tokens, and they can just flip those over time and time again. So, you know, pay attention to what's happening and understand these guys are incentivized. All the people that have been leading you so far, they're incentivized to keep you waiting and holding the bag. And maybe it's my fault for not telling you sooner, maybe because I didn't see it sooner. Um, maybe, it, you know, maybe we all need to kind of look at this and, and figure out, you know, what the step is going forward and how do we get rid of all of these people? Maybe, uh, just maybe all of us should start helping somebody like Happy Caddy Crypto, who really cares about this project, or Mr. Diamond Hands, who really cares about this project. You know, maybe we should start looking at some of those guys and be and and we should get together and do something, uh, as opposed to letting it be controlled by a bunch of people who don't give a shit about us. So, um, but anyway, to the station for the proposals, the governance here. Uh, if you look at the governance, the L1 T4 uh, Terra Classic Core Security Upgrade Package, that's from the L1 TF, and you might be wondering, this led to what are they doing? Now, uh, what is the uh, L1T4 uh, TF doing right now? Well, they're doing what they're supposed to do, security upgrades. And remember, you voted on that. You gave all of these validators the authority to slow this whole process down. And now they only do things um, when a work proposal is, initiative, is initiated. So you did that. You gave them the power to slow everything down. Otherwise, you know what? There would be a lunk to USTC repeg probably at this point, but you guys defunded them. Uh, so anyway, uh, and remember, by the way, that they're, they were going to build out, they were going to fix the security. You know, we had Cosmos and we had all these different upgrades that we were doing, and then we were going to focus on the repeg. And that was the beginning of last year. Go back to it. It's the beginning of last year that the repeg and 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 all that was going to be worked on. Took a little bit longer to do the security updates and stuff like that because we had turnover. We had people leaving and, and, and coming in, et cetera, et cetera. But at the end of it, you guys decided, hey, you know what would be cool if we just stop saving, if we just stop, if we just stop paying L1TF appropriate wages and we started fighting with them over money, maybe that'll make the chain better. And remember, convinced that by the bad actor, they convinced you that you shouldn't do that. And now here we are wondering where the Lunk USTC repeg. And then we have to do something like, I have to say something to the quant team because guess what? There is no other team doing anything about it. Uh, but but we gave $40,000 to the quant team. In my mind, I'm like, well, $40,000 should pay for a USTC to, to, to Lunk repeg or at least getting it started or something like that. That was just for the proposal uh, and, and, and all the work that quote unquote went into it that didn't really appear to go into it because we're still sitting here, uh, what about four months later waiting for the centralized exchanges to approve it. You know, maybe it's time for some proposals to get put up to start to make this stuff happen. And maybe we need to unwind some of the garbage that these validators have put forth. And then we need to start looking at what the validators are voting on. And we need to start unpacking those. And maybe you need to start staking with other people so that you get the votes that you want. But you know what? I can't make you do the work. I can only tell you that this stuff is going on. If you're going to be lazy and you're not going to do anything about it, then the chain is what the chain is. I mean, isn't that fair enough? So if it is, and that's what we're doing, I'm going to hold with you. Uh, because again, you know, when we get to the uh, bull run, we'll 10x, we'll 15x, we'll 20x, you know, maybe even 50x. You never know. Will we get to a penny? Nope. Will we get to a dime? Not a chance. Will we get to a dollar? Never. We have too much supply because we can't get to a $5 trillion market cap. We can't get to a $500 billion market cap. Uh, we can't get to a $50 billion market cap. We can get to a $10 billion market cap. We can get to a, maybe a 20, maybe even a 25 if we get really, really lucky and we get some motivation in one direction or something like that. But 
you know, we're not doing the numbers that we've always told you we're going to do with hype, et cetera, et cetera, because we're not doing the fundamental things now that need to be done. So if you don't believe me, go look at the voting. If you don't believe me, go see how your validator has been voting. If you don't believe me, go look at the proposals. If you don't believe me, look around. Anyway, it's not financial advice. My name is Blaze and Mongerie. Thank you so much. I appreciate uh, that you guys tune in. I'm apologizing right now because I'm ranting about this, but you know we have to do something and it's not going to be them that's going to do anything. The, the validators, they just want you to shut up and be quiet and let them continue to reap. That's all they want. So until next time, we'll talk to you.